What's going on, trainers? Troy back here with episode 25 of Solo Queue. If you guys know where I take to the rated solo singles battle spot and do some fun little battles. So as uh, we come in with a 16 and 12 uh, record, um, bringing in some fun Pokemon. I got the Mega Gyarados, Mega Venusaur, um, non Mega Heracross, Flame Morph Guts, Togekiss, Salamence, and Crobat. Uh, as always, Q and A will be at the end of the first episode or first battle. I'm sorry. And um, might do too. Um, have been having some uh, server issues as I'm recording this. Uh, people keep leaving battles and and such. So we'll see if we can do one. Try to get one clean battle, and um, might have to end it. If it's a long battle, of course. I, I'm I don't know. Uh, so let me get the rock and jam and tunes going. See, he's got a guard shop. The Pokemon I see every day of my life. Uh, Save lies up there. Uh, he's also got a Crobat, which is cool. Mine has a Choice Fan. I don't know what he's got. Uh, Starmie, not a bad choice. Cradilly and Machamp. Um, I really like Venusaur. And I like Crobat. Crobat could really do something to the uh, Machamp. You know, Brave Bird, just crazy. Um, Venusaur uh, can do something uh, maybe against... Uh, say the Starmory, but uh, I'm pretty sure he can, yeah, he can take some hits. Maybe an Ice Beam, too. I really hope he doesn't bring the Cradilly. Heracross! Heracross can do definitely something against the Cradilly. May I should open up Heracross. I know he's opened up Sa Sableye. Going for that will o -Wiss. I just know it. And Nihotokus has my only fairy move for the Sableye. And I'm thinking I probably... I did bring Heracross for, like, any kind of burn thing, so... Let's do that. Um, maybe, yeah, let's bring Crobat towards the end. See what we can do there. And we got Togekiss to Thunder Wave and slow down some people. And we'll get away with that. Might be a bit crazy. Maybe I should have brought, actually brought the Venusaur, but I didn't feel like it. So, battle number one getting started. Victor. It's about... Almost 3 am on my side. So it doesn't open up Sableye. Opens up with the Starmie. Um, Heracross. Definitely not faster. And. Probably can't take a Fire Blaster or Flamethrower. Um, I probably can't take anything from this guy, honestly. I really doubt it. I do know one thing, it is faster. Uh, he doesn't get any fire moves. I thought for some reason he got, like, something back my mind. Like, yeah, he gets a fire move. I'm like, no, he doesn't. That'd be scary if he did. I'm pretty sure I can take any attack. I think he's gonna psychic me. What am I talking about? Um. Gonna switch out here into. Um. Toei Kiss. Maybe slow this thing down with the Thunder Wave. Um, best thing I can do. So he withdrew. Okay, so we pulled off some antics here. He brings out the Crobat. Oh, fine by me. I was gonna, you know, he. I bet he expected a Megahorn. Uh, he really resists the Megahorn, but um, fine by me. Uh, now I'm scared of this Crobat doing a um, any kind of cross poison. That might kill actually, yeah, especially if it's banded. So I might have switched into my own Crobat. Crobat. Ah, ah. Man, we're just doing some... I, I think I lost the switch battle. I'm switching. I'm not leaving Togekiss in. Definitely not leaving Togekiss in. Um, so he does go with the cross poison. I resist. Very much so. Not very effective. And looks like he's got the life orb. Okay. Fine by me. Um, now who's faster is a great question. I have only let's see Brave Bird stab. Let's go with the Brave Bird. I hope I'm faster. I am faster. No way. I should be able to get the kill because he doesn't have a sash. Obviously not full health. And I take that thing out like a champ. Crowback coming through. Uh, taking a lot of recoil though. That's not good. Question is, do I outspeed the Starmie? I don't know. Crobat always um, gives me some good battles. Here comes the Sableye. He's probably predicting me to switch into 
the Heracross, which I might just... Yeah, I don't want to fall for that Willis. I really don't. So let's just bring out Heracross again. Uh, and if he does go for a Willis or anything like that, uh, I can keep Crobat for later. Um, right now I'm at a pretty good advantage. So out comes Heracross. Goes for the Willis, which works out in my favor. I am going to get a huge spike in power. Uh, only thing here, um, Save Light resists a lot of... Not really um, super effective on anything. Everything's neutral damage. Definitely um, resists any kind of fight, fighting, fire, any earthquake. I guess let's just go into uh, close combat. My or not close combat. Megahorn's my best option. I don't know what I was saying, um, but I don't want to. I don't want to risk the miss. Might have to. So it does land. Uh, hoping for some mad damage. That is a really. Oh, I got a crit. Awesome. Oh, okay. Cool. I'll take it. I expected the mad damage, and I got it. So, um, Heracross coming through. This guy, uh, I just got some good calls, uh, a lot of predictable stuff. Now, save alive, any Psychic will definitely kill me. Let me just scout it out. Let me just see if he's going to Psychic. Um, I just want to I just want to see. I, just, I, I know I can't take it. So he goes for a Surf. Oh, wow, really? I, I, re I should have really took that chance. I, I just expected... I expected any kind of psychic move. The Psy Shock, anything kills me. Um, and I know I'm not faster in this thing. Here's the Surf. I probably will live because I resist that. I, I don't know what this guy knows. And this, obviously, the Mega Horn is just going to take this guy out to the Sash. Um, I can't take another move. Um, so he's pretty much dead. Crobat um, will come out after this. Uh, Heracross doing his job. Crobat picking up the slack. Togekiss was just there for safe measure. Um, I don't know why he had options, didn't he? I don't understand it. He had Psychic. He had Psy Shock. He had everything. Any move will kill. Just go for a Brave Bird because it never misses. I know I'm faster because Crobat is... A fast mofo. So picking up another win on Solo Q. So our record improving to 17 and 12. So we're doing pretty good on Solo Q. Moving in. Hold on. Let me just make sure I won the battle. Okay, cool. Moving into Q&A now. Uh, you guys have been leaving quite a few. So I got to catch up here. Um, a fellow... Um, Q&A guy, uh, Shadow Sword 12, this guy asks, um, I already answered my favorite food thing, I already did that, what is my current car versus my ideal car and why, keep up the great work, thank you, uh, my current car right now, I have a Ford Mustang, really nice stick shift, so I know how to drive manual, which is fun, um, and a precious life skill, my ideal car, um, a newer Mustang because right now mine's like an 03. I went like a 2013 through 2012. Corvettes are nice. And um, my friend just got a Scion FRS. I think it looks like, like, it looks like a Jaguar. It looks like, uh, looks nice. Um, he has one of those. I might want to get one of those later. Any Scion cars, those are nice too. Um, another Q&A. Uh, let's see here. Got to scroll up for you guys. You guys leave me some other comments. Um, comes from our friend Del Wagner. He asks, Q&A, how would you feel if Extreme Speed was a tutor move in Oros and Zangoose got it? Oh, that would be, that would be incredible because, could you imagine Zangoose getting priority on top of, you know, his, his toxic boosts and, and he can just, he can revenge kill a lot. That's what, that's what opens up. You bring him in. They're low. That extreme speed's going to do a lot of damage. And it's stab. It's also stab. Wow, that's 160... Or no, not... Or 120 base on a priority move. And then it's all it's all getting boosted with his ability. It's incredible. And then um, Fakehade's going to do a lot of damage anyway. But extreme speed does more and it's priority. Well, no, Fakehade does... It does um, more because of... I'm not going to call it Facade, Tony. I'm sorry. Vacate sounds better. So, um, next Q&A. Uh, going to do one more. 
Uh, this one comes from a new guy, uh, Niek PM. Uh, he asks, um, do you think my Adiana is going to get a Mega? And if so, would you use it? Uh, my Adi my Adiana is a tricky Pokemon. I never really used it. I know it gets Intimidate. Can't really say what kind of ability it could get. Um, hopefully just buffing up the stats helps it out. And yeah, I know Houndoom got a Mega, but not Mighty Enemy. And those kind of seem the, um, you know, both kind of dog Pokemon that, like, are pretty much the same, but one, not the other. Uh, Mega Houndoom, switching over to him, uh, he's okay. Just got outshined by all the other be better Megas, even though that Mega Houndoom gets Solar Power, which is, which is a weird ability for it to have, but it does get a, um... Not even, it gets just a ridiculous amount of special attack. And that's what you gotta make it. My idea will probably be on the opposite side being a, a physical attacker. So, killing up enough time here. Uh, that's enough for Q&A. I will leave, or I'll answer more when you guys leave more. So. The other box, don't worry about that. That's just other stuff. Gonna look for battle number two. Our rating's getting better. That's nice. And our record's also pretty good as I get a drink of water <sighs> so finding a guy from all the way from Japan pretty cool he has you know more of the same Pokemon I see the uh, Garchomp probably Mega Gengar Rotom Wash or Rotom Heat I'm sorry and Porygon 2 so I want to bring Gyarados this time because I see the Rotom Heat that thing could trick me again and I'm going to Mega Evolve it's going to be awesome um Let's see, Toekiss could do some, some work. Venusaur, I don't like. Salamence can do an awful lot to um, the Caesar. Uh, I want to bring Heracross because I see the Porygon too. The only thing I can beat down the Porygon too is that. And I think Heracross can do an okay job against everybody else. I really do. So let's open up Gyarados. Really hope he doesn't bring Slowbro. Really don't. I want to bring Tokus. Haven't really had a chance to use it. And, um. <laughs> let's. Heracross? Let's just bring Heracross. Let's go with it. Heracross gave me a good battle last time. Let's give him a good battle this time. So. Don't worry, music's still here. Just uh, switching out some stuff. Can hardly hear it, though. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that. So he, I go, I open my regular Gyarados. Probably a good open. Um, he opens up with the Rotom. He perfect. He's probably switching out. Uh, he's probably switching out. Or he's gonna go for that trick. I don't care. I want to Mega Evolve and then go for um, the Earthquake. Um, so, like I said. Uh, let's see what happens here. Even if I Mega Evolve, nothing that really doesn't affect Gyarados. It just makes him better. Uh, Mold Breaker definitely helps against him. So he's going to go Volt Switch. That might do some damage. Does an okay amount. I'm going to get a free Earthquake. Um, he can... Nothing really switches from the... Um, or I mean, on, on a switch in, I don't think he has uh, anything levitating but Gengar. But Earthquake coming from... A Ga Mega Gyarados on the Caesar does an okay amount of damage. Not super effective. He could go for the Sword Stance. I kind of want to taunt him. I really do. Or he could go for the Super Power, which is probably what's waiting for me at the other end there. Uh, I am I am not faster. I want to save Mega Gyarados for the Rotom Wash. So I'm switching in to Togekiss because I just know that Super Power is coming. I just know it. And I can Thunder Wave the Caesar to just slow him down in his tracks. So there comes the U-turn. Crazy move. Not going to do any damage. So this guy doing a weird like Volt Switch U-turn strategy, which is crazy. So the Caesar has Life Orb, which is fine by me. Um, brings back out into... I don't know who? The Rotom Heat. Okay, he can't do a whole lot on um, burning me. Doesn't matter. I want to Thunder Wave it. I want to Thunder Wave it, slow it down, and start Air Slashing this thing. 
Volt Switch might do a lot of damage to me. Which really sucks. That gets Volt Switch. Come on. It's a fire type and electric type. Okay, so. I'm just thinking. I'm really thinking here. Doesn't take Dazzling Gleams all that well. Doesn't even take any of my moves well. So let's just go for... I'll try to pair flinch this guy. Goes for a Thunderbolt. I might be able to take this. I barely take that. I have... I get paralyzed. That is incredible. That is incredible. And I don't know why I tried to paralyze him now. Now I think about it. I misclick. Forget that happened on me doing that. I, I know I'm screwed. Um... I've just forgotten in the back of my mind that I can't Thunder Wave him, and then I did anyway. So, wow, this road time he blocks up a lot of my team. Gyarados is dead, pretty much. Gonna bring in uh, Heracross. I can't do a whole lot here. Uh, gotta go for... Let's just protect, see what he's going to do. He's not going to willow with me. He's actually going to switch out, which pisses me off now. I could have got a free switch. Um, brings in the guard shop. That thing is going to totally kill me. Uh, wish I could have got any kind of, like, earthquake on it. So the best move to go here probably would be the Megahorn. Or not, man. This guy just... Every, I, everything I have resists. It's crazy. Or at least it's neutral. But let's just go to the close combat. I don't even care at this point. This battle's pretty much over. I hate to be the guy that gives up, but um, yeah. Except for the, you know, that did do a lot of damage. But it flinched. What? I take a flinch from that? You're kidding me. You are absolutely kidding me. So um, here comes another close combat. Probably gonna rock slide again. I might be able to take it, but man, this is just... This is sad, man. Look at all the hacks. I got flinched and paralyzed from a Thunderbolt. Crazy. Even though that close combat did a heck of a lot of damage. Hope that music's not too loud, but um, yeah. Burn's gonna get me down to 4 health. Uh, next Pokemon, probably uh, Caesar. Bullet Punch gonna finish off the day here. Can't do anything to that. I right, fully missed. Fully missed. Now this guy just, he knew what to bring against me and he uh, completely uh, murked me on that one. And in my mind, I'm like, man, this guy's got a good team. And I made the one crucial mistake about Thunder Wave. I don't want, I really want to forget about that mistake. So, um, just go for a waterfall. I don't care at this point. Bullet Punch, probably not even going to kill. Doesn't do much damage. Um, if only that, if only Gyarados was faster than this road time, he could have had this game. Uh, made this battle pretty much even, which is all I could really ask for. But um, road time heats, they're pretty fast to begin with, which is crazy. Uh, Mega Gyarados just not cutting it out. Only Thunderbolt would miss too, but no. Played it safe. Uh, good battle, good battle. Um, a, a really, really. Uh, I mean, a good battle. I mean, heavy mistakes on my side. Other than that, I'm gonna try to forget about that. Thank you guys for watching uh, this episode of Solo Queue. Duo Queue will be right after this. I'm gonna try to get out, that out tomorrow. Maybe do some more showdown battles. Um, you guys let me know if I, if I should do any more show dumbbells, anything like that. Um, please do whatever you want, Q&As, comments, stuff like that. You guys have yourselves a great day, and as always, I will see you guys next time.